Mr. Moab Rabinovich, you are the former Ambassador of Israel to the United States, which has just elected uh, President Trump. But I want to really ask you, if you can connect that perhaps to, is the two-state solution for Israel and Palestine dead? No, it's, uh, uh, it's being assailed, it's not in good shape, but uh, it's not dead. Uh, time is not unlimited, but uh, at this point it can still be implemented. And are you hopeful that that will be, that President Trump's election will be a positive sign in that direction, or are you rather pessimistic? I'm not optimistic about the whole configuration of, uh, that has emerged from the election, but on this particular point, he said that he, twice actually, before and after, that he is intrigued by the prospect of being the person who will make this defined by him as the ultimate deal. And uh, it, I think uh, it could uh, put life back into the peace process. So that could be the, the one or one of the few positive, visible outcomes of his election. Inshallah, as the, as the Arabs would say. Um, if you look at the, uh, the next few years uh, in the Middle East, well, no, let me turn the question around. This is not the first time that you have been to the World Policy Conference. My third conference. Do you find it useful in terms of discussing the Middle East with people from Palestine, people from the Arab world, and so on? Uh, very, very useful. Uh, Palestinians, I, I, I also meet uh, on site, but uh, the former Prime Minister of Syria, a Moroccan spokesman, a Saudi spokesman, this is not something that comes my way every day, and uh, it's not the only reason for coming to these conferences, but uh, definitely is one of them. Itamar Rabinovich, thank you so much for coming You're to WPC-TV. Thank you. Thank you.